Hi, this is Thunder E from BorderWork.com and I'll be showing you how to update your Samsung Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile using Samsung Keys Air uh, desktop software. You can download it directly from Samsung and um, this is how the software looks like. You have to connect your Samsung Galaxy S2 to, the, to, the, uh, to your laptop uh, with the software on there to get things going. Now, it may take some time to actually recognize your device. It says connecting. Don't worry, there's no issues, it just takes some time. So once it comes up, it will tell you I have an update. I have one right there. I'm gonna click on update, and um, that then I have to go through the custom guidelines, precautions, except I'm moving on without saving just because I decided to do that, but I suggest you go allow saving. And it gives you the prompt to uh, update to ICS. So that's what we've all been waiting for, and uh, here's the ICS update. Uh, so, you know, click next on there and get ready to move on. So at this point, it's going to prepare uh, for firmware upgrade. It's going to download uh, firmware upgrade components. Uh, this, this is a very quick part. Now, the whole process takes about 30 minutes or so. So it's something that's a little lengthy and, um, you know, takes some time. And, um, you know, but other things to mention is you should have your phone fully charged or at least 50% battery life on there. If you don't have 50% battery life on your device, I suggest you charge your phone fully before you do this. Now it's preparing the preparing for firmware upgrades. Um, it's just going to go through uh, a second and should give us a, we do have a Windows prompt there in the lower right hand corner. Click on that and um, now we should get ready to, I believe, yes, uh, download uh, firmware upgrade process. Now as he says, see in the dialog box it says, you know, connect your phone, so we've already done that anyway. And it's going to download, this is kind of lengthy, so um, we'll show you some of it, but then we'll definitely cut out and give you um, um, more later. But this should give you ICS upgrade, you should get a better battery life. This is Android 4.0.3 coming to your system overall. And um, also you should get... Um, you should get some of the uh, ICS features now. I'm not sure about you know features like S Voice and stuff like that if that will come to the system, but we'll check that out once we uh, finish with the whole download. Uh, if we have some of those other features that we saw in the Galaxy S3's version of um, um, ICS with um, you know with the new version of TouchWiz, so we'll see all that when we go through. But you can see the download. Uh, right there um, and again uh, this process takes about 30 minutes um, you, you're gonna see very shortly that on your phone you're also gonna see a different uh, prompt and look if you will so it's going to uh, continue um, on on your uh, smartphone on the devices but we'll show you how it looks right here on our phone there you can see it says downloading don't turn off that's what's gonna happen this is actually a longer process also again this takes also another 50 minutes or so we just cut it short just to show you what's going on on your smartphone as it's going on on your PC um, at that point and uh, we continue from there and uh, moving on you'll see the whole installation process as it goes ahead <laughs> Alright, so our phone has restarted and you can see uh, it still looks kind of the same because it's touchways but if you hold down the home button you can see yep we are running ICS you can see the multitask menu there now let's go into the settings and uh, pull up uh, the version of Android we are running for you about phone there you have it Android 4.0.3 so stay tuned we'll give you a full uh, review of uh, the software update and we'll do some more videos so thank you and enjoy